Hello, Cancer. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Divine and Gifted. I am Jay. What's up? Now, Cancer, 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 you're the top four video for last couple of weeks, Zodiac time, first half of September. So, um, yes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all my beautiful new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, hit the thumbs up button, the notification bell, and the subscribe button. Hello, thank you. So, you can know when I upload um, all that. So, this is going to be a very general reading for the second half of September. Let's put this in. Spirit messages do you have for our cancers? Second half, second, second half of September. Working in their highest good for their highest favor. Asking for messages full of unconditional love, like healing, clarity, truth, and understanding. Also asking for high vibrational messages. Please, that is a political alignment with their cancers for the second half of September. Yes, yes, yes. So... Um, let's start out with a spirit message. Protect our aura, our energy, our space, our frequency, and our soul family. Okay. Have fun. Your spirit guides want you to know to have fun. Believe is here. We're going to get into this. But have fun. Now is the time for you to choose your happiness. Okay. It says stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Have you given yourself permission to have fun lately? This is it. Your spirit team wants you to get out and have a good time. We're going to have a funky good time. Yes, yeah, old school song. Okay, listen. Then we have believe the force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success and over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. Do you truly believe in yourself? OK, do you believe that you will succeed? OK, um, why haven't you been taking the necessary steps? Why haven't you been taking the necessary steps for you? Are you having are you having a hard time with believing in you? Okay, spirit wants you, your guides, your spirit team wants you to know that it's time for you to start believing in yourself. Some of you guys can need to work on that heart chakra because there's holding on to a lot of pain. There's holding on to a lot of sadness, regret, and 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 and, and, and let's be clear. That is what could be preventing you from really fully believing in yourself because you are harboring on to resentments from past mistakes or failures. OK, now. Let's hop on in, y'all. Let's hop in. Can I get a can I get a, a ancestor message, please, for our cancers? Uh, angel answer. Angel message, please, for our cancers. First half of second half of September. Second half of September is for our cancers. Positive outcome at the bottom of the deck. We have Jewel. It says every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience great, even ever greater love. There is a jewel to be found within every teardrop. Trust, we are your angels. Our, <clears throat> we, your angels, are guiding you to the current events. This is a time in which and those close to you will emerge strengthened but ever greater bonds of love what we your angels are guiding the current events this is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love trust there is nothing to fear there is only love so definitely you have a connection someone around you that has been sent to you by the the fine and i love that you have someone that's in your corner that's really there for you and this is going to lead to a very very positive outcome okay it says at this very moment you are sowing seeds of your future through your thoughts feelings beliefs and attitudes whether through love fear or indifference you are always creating something so remember to keep your thoughts so remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. Have you been thinking positive? <clears throat> Cancer, I know sometimes you get in your feeling, you get into this hermit-like energy, you get very down, you get very depressed. So monitor your thoughts, monitor your thoughts, monitor your thoughts, because you don't want to accidentally manifest some bullshit because you was in low vibrational energy thinking and sitting there living 
in your misery. Okay? Don't do that. <coughs> Don't do that. Let's see what some things that one thing that the cancers need to surrender to. What does the cancers need to surrender to? Second half of September. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What does our cancers need to surrender to? Second half of September. Cancers. This has belief and scarcity. I'm gonna put this back. But the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Spirit said, no, pull another one. Ooh. Okay. So you guys are needed to believe in the infinite powers of the universe. It's like because you've had a series of unfortunate events does not mean that things are never going to turn around. You guys are needed to see the positive in every situation. Like what, what did you... What did you truly learn from the situation? What was the true lesson? What did you gain from this situation as opposed to what you lost? Be grateful for those small moments. Even be grateful for the struggle that you could or may be going through. Okay? Give me one more thing that this, the cancers need to surrender to. Second half of September. Rest of September. Current energy, please. And thank you. Addictions 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 whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives you guys have an addiction and this is stress is your addiction you're addicted to stress you find yourself constantly in stressful behaviors because this is the only way that you fully know how to operate when your back is up against the wall and that is a cycle condition behavior that you need to break okay i can see it so fucking clearly that stress worrisome energy is the only way that you will be able to work when your back is up against the wall and that is something that you need to break free from again okay i can't i can't stress this and oh look and you see how miracles just fell on the float right you don't even believe in the miracles because you're so busy in this stressful ass energy to where you can't see the good and this is why spirit is again reminding you a positive outcome is based upon your beliefs and how you feel about yourself and what it is that you're trying to manifest and the affirmations that you keep on your tongue so on and so forth um y'all know i don't take cards off the ground so we're gonna put miracles back but we have creativity here at the bottom of the deck let your imagination store stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or a problem okay stop waiting until you can't take any more until you are stressed out till your back is up against the wall to find a solution why would you make your life harder when it can be so much easier if you just start programming your mind to believe that I'm exactly where I need to be and where I am is in full and complete alignment with me and my soul's growth and my highest good. I have nothing but infinite possibilities. I have nothing but um, positive outcomes. I have nothing but positive people. I have nothing but high vibrational energy around me. I, ha I, am, walking up, uh, I am walking the path of enlightenment and sometimes this path on that I am on is going to come with very dark energies and I know how to cast them away just by elevating who I am mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally, period. Okay? Now, <clears throat> have your affirmation on your tongue. I am powerful. I believe in myself. I am strong. I am worthy. I am love. I am abundance. Have your affirmation on your tongue. Have your, when you're going through some shit, when, when times get hard, have your affirmation on your tongue. This is not going to work against me. This is going to work with me because that is how my energy is set up. Every time something is thrown at me, it bounces off of me and I elevate. I become stronger. I become more powerful. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, y'all. I don't know. I just seen seven. Look, I, I don't know why I picked this deck up. Y'all needed one more. It's healthy to set boundaries and relationships. Practice expressing your needs. And remember that no is a complete sentence. I've said in another video that no is literally no in every fucking language. I don't care what language you speak. That If you want to say no, it's no. And stop feeling guilty for saying no. Stop overexpressing yourself for saying no. Stop feeling like you have to explain why you're saying no. Now, let's be clear. Sometimes you will have relationships to where you don't want the person to get the wrong idea or you so you do you you want to make sure that you're not coming off as rude to them you have to use your own discernment okay you have to use your own discernment you have to y'all got my head itching i'm about to go okay i ain't said i'm about to go to past three readings i'm about to go for cancer okay y'all ain't about to be stressing me out of here i'm just kidding i love y'all so anyway i got my head itching though the message is just trying to come through Let's hop into the reading because I don't want to keep y'all here for 30 minutes. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. 
So let's see current energy, please. Current energy, current energy, current energy. So we have the sun. This was actually in reverse. This is just how I picked this up. This is actually in reverse. Your current energy is the sun. Let's see what else comes out. Cause I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it in. I'm gonna keep it in the upright. Current energy for our Cancer second half of September. You have the Emperor here. What is this Emperor about? Ace of Pentacles. Now. <clears throat> You have a very, very much new beginning here. Your new beginning is going to be based upon you and how you plant your seed, how you invest into yourself, how you invest into your future, how you sow into you, how you sow into other people, how you give into the collective, how you give gratitude and appreciation abundance, how you send in this energy out into the divine. And that's why the, the emperor here with the ace of pentacles to the five of pence, you're tired of struggling. You're so fucking tired. I just seen 11-11. You're so tired of struggling. This five of pentacles here is letting me know that you feel like an outsider. You feel very incomplete. You feel unsecure. You feel like you've been given into unrequited love. Um, a part of you is missing a version of you that was... You're trying so hard to hold on to a version of you that is no longer needed. It's no longer necessary. And you holding on to this version of you is all that you have left. So you're afraid to let go of that version of you, that idea, that that thought, that image that you have in your head. You're, you're, you're having a hard time with letting this person go, with letting that person go, with letting that identity go. You're going through identity crisis. The nine of, the nine, nine of wands is here with the devil. Look, you guys are under attack. You are under attack and you don't even know. And you're and you're blaming it on your circumstances. You're blaming it on your household. You're blaming it on the people around you. You're blaming and it's you. You are under attack spiritually. You're under spiritual attack because you it's time for you to invest in your future. It's time for you to sow the seed. It's time for you to step into your it's time for you to step into who you are. So quite naturally, stepping into you hard, you have to step out of who you was. You have to step out of step out of the ways you were thinking, how you were brought up, your your conditioned behaviors. It's like you're breaking you're breaking free at this point. And that's why the emperor is here with the ace of pentacles. Now, very much some of you guys, this could be a love interest, a love offer coming towards you and someone is coming to offer you a very solid foundation. But for others of you guys, fuck that. This is about you. This is your journey. And on this channel, I'm going to always get you into you, baby. Okay. Yeah. I see all this relationship popping out, but honey, 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 you can't get to the relationship if you ain't healed. Okay. So, um, yes. Hello. But now let's get into your current energy. Like I said, you are under attack very much. So you're very much so under attack. You're under attack. You're, look, five of pentacles is here. Four of pentacles is here before I even I, I can see this. I can see it. I can see it. It's an energy that I can see. And this is what you're struggling with. You're struggling with trying to please everyone else. You're struggling with trying to make everybody else happy. You're struggling with, with holding every the foundation together. You're so much struggling. You cannot breathe. This is how this is how this is hurting you so bad. And you don't understand that whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to, it's no longer there. You're holding on to a false structure. It's it's not it's not there. This is an illusion that you put it on, that you're holding on to. You're holding on to something that is a facade. It's a facade. It's no longer there. It's dead skin. It's dead weight. And you're trying to hold on to it. You're trying to put the shit on. You're trying to carry it. You're trying to coddle it. You're trying to mother it. You're trying to nurture it. And it is not there. This sun card and the, this is good news coming in. But there is something that's here that's going to stop and block it. What is that? Because if the <laughs> because if you don't get out your own way, if you don't get out your own way, if you don't get out your own way, could be a marriage commitment or this is a lesson that needs to be learned here with this hair font. Okay, but if you don't get out your own way, baby, baby, if you don't get out your own fucking way, the the Queen of Swords, the Hangman, and the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is basically telling you that you are creating your own blockages because you haven't had the time, you haven't shifted, changed your perspective. Perspective. It's like 
you have to break down your walls. Your walls are your comfort zone. It's time for you to step outside your comfort zone. There's a new start, a new beginning, a new opportunity here with this page of pentacles. But it's on you. You are in your own way. You are in your own way. And you need to learn how to get out of your way. It's, boundaries need to be set in place with certain people, things, whatever is going on. That's why the five of wands is here. Because like I said, you're holding on and you're trying to carry everything, everybody's feelings, emotions, and burdens. But what about your own? You've been through so much as a queen of swords. You've been through so much. You're always fighting. You're always trying to please. You're always trying to make happy. You're always giving chances. And now it's time for you to give your own self a chance. And that's why the sun is here with the eight of wands. This is you on a new journey that's going to make you so fucking happy because this journey is all about you. Okay? It's all about you. But when are you going to choose you? Okay? When are you going to choose you? Let's get into the rest of it. Let's get into the rest of it. What's the main blockage? What is the main blockage? Because let's see what the main blockage is. Because, baby, okay, recognition. The main blockage is how people are going to see you with the Six of Wands. The main blockage is are you going to are you going to get the recognition, the love, the the attention that you deserve? Or is are are you going to have support? Are you going to are are, are you going to have what you need? The Six of Wands. Are you going to feel victorious? Are you going to regret your decision? The Six of Wands is basically asking you like your blockage is looking you in your face and saying, what the fuck you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? Because you don't know the outcome here. You don't know. You can't control this. You don't know. So your blockage is even looking you in the face, threatening you putting fear into you and this is why you're having a hard time with letting go of certain things person place or thing thought feelings or emotion okay um give me one more for blockages one more god damn it the page the the, the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is here the ace of pentacles is here and the page of pentacles is here the knight the ace and the page is here right here right here the three of pentacles here look if you're holding on to relationship, that shit is toxic. This commitment, this contract, whatever this is, whatever it could be work because it's the three of pentacles, whatever it is, it's toxic. It's wearing you out. It's it's very, it's very, very, very trying to control you and who you are. It's trying to it's trying to keep you limited, stuck, and stagnant. This this five of cups, you're having a hard time. You're crying over spilled milk. You this third this three this three it could be a third party situation here, very much so. It could be very much a third party situation here, and you're having to choose. And you're having a hard time with choosing this five, this five of cups, this three of cups here with the two of cups. And it's like, you know, there, there's a path, there's a direction, there is a, there's an area in your life that's going to make you a lot happier. But the only thing you can do is just look at what is already damaged and stop looking at the damaged goods. Okay. Because this can be rebuilt. All you have to do is believe in yourself enough. This right here is a new opportunity. This is a new path. This right here is some bullshit. Whatever this is, however this is working for you, manifesting, whatever it is, this is some bullshit and it's time for you to get up out of this because it's weighing your energy down and you wondering why you can't sleep, why you're in and out of, in, up and down, in and out. It, it, this is why. This is why. Somebody feels like they have a control, they have a hold over you. Okay? Now, baby, what actions do you need to take moving forward? The Ace of Cups in reverse. What actions do you need to take moving forward? Second half of September for our Cancers. The Chariot. If you're not happy, then you need to move. If you're emotionally exhausted, if you're drained, you need to move. You need to find the strength, the courage, the power, the, the, the ability. The You need to find it in you. You need to pull yourself together from the bottom of your feet all the way to the top of your head and say let's go let's do this because right now you're allowing yourself to stay stuck and stagnant in a situation that is draining you of everything you got that's why the ace of cups is here in reverse where is your self-love this is self-pity you're pitying something either you're pitying yourself or someone else you're trying to protect something here but what is it the ace of cups this is the this is the most loving card of the deck the Ace of Cups, there is no love here. There is nothing here. There is nothing there. 
whatever this is there there is this is something that is keeping you drained this is draining you with your energy your love anything that you have to give is draining you and you're wondering why shit's not taking off you're wondering why you're you you're wondering why you feel so stuck you don't know what to do you're so confused you're wondering why because you got some shit that you need to address sis bruh you got some it's something here that you need to address and with the actions that you need to take with this this chariot here this this four of swords and, and this is breaking free this is fine this is fine this is finding whatever it is that brings you peace whatever this is that brings you peace yes you may feel stabbed in the back these are right here are going to come down on you yes you may but this is also going to bring victory and success and clarity this is also going to bring a new truth a new day a new dawn a new day a new dawn a new life yeah, that this is this is what's going to come in and you're worried about whether you're going to receive some type of accolades or how people are going to to accept you and you need to worry about how you're going to accept yourself you won't even be able to look yourself in the mirror okay listen i'm about to go cancer i'm about to go what's the best what, what does spirit want you to know what does spirit want you to know cancer Spirit wants you to know that you are being tested. Spirit is trying to guide you and lead you. There is a lesson here that needs to be learned. This does have to do with a relationship. This does have to do with a marriage. This does have to do with a long time commitment. This could have something to do with your core values and, and, the, and, and how you were raised and your upbringing. This could very much be questioning all that that you only, the only thing that you know about yourself. Yes, it could. It, it very much so could. It's going to resonate differently with everybody. So take it. If it's yours, it's yours. But you've been giving your energy away you've been giving your time away. you haven't been getting anything back in return but you still find the need to do and give and to go above and beyond for certain things people whatever this is the six of pentacles is here is you're running yourself dry there is no balance there is nothing there is if i cannot say there is nothing nothing don't make me close one more door i don't want to hurt Stay in my arms if you dare, or must I imagine you there? Okay, that is Whitney Houston. Don't walk away from me. And that's how somebody is making you feel. Like, if you walk away, I have nothing. Don't do it. Fuck that. Bitch, you ain't gonna have shit. I'm sorry. I'm just coming out of character. Don't, don't. You ain't gonna have nothing. Okay. So anyways. You need to get up out of there. Page of Wands. This page of Wands. Pay attention to whoops and she closing. Definitely. Yes. It's a whoop and she they, they they're coming to you and they have some type of offer for you. But you need to be very careful. Someone could be watching you too with this page of swords. So be very, very careful. Be very, very this is sneaky energy. This is very, very sneaky energy. Nine of Pentacles is here with the Two of Pentacles. It's time for you to choose your happiness. It's a new direction, a new opportunity that's opening up here. The Eight of Swords is because you're stuck. You're stuck here with this Five of so with this Five of Cups. That's where you're stuck at. You're stuck. And then look, 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 look the castle. I, I broke down that castle earlier with the Five of Pentacles. Okay. I'm about to go. They got me cussing and stuff. I'm about to go. I'm talking to y'all like I'm talking to one of my homegirls. Okay. Listen. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Cancer. Best advice. Cancer. Wide open. At the bottom of the deck, we have making a choice. And making a choice. It's time for you to make a choice. You have a path that you need to choose. Okay? If you don't, you will be stuck. 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 You. I'm telling you, you won't even recognize yourself. Look at the path. Let's go into number 42. Because I was going to say 26. So. Oh, 26 is deep freeze. That's crazy. Um, everything has its own, has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. 42. Wide open. Wide open. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life endless possibilities. All manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time. The wide open card is a signal that you you're able to truly manifest your dreams and set your goals. And 
what your the Y open card is a signal that you are able to truly manifest your dreams and your goals are in sight don't remain small in contact instead expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations you have a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world the universe is supportive of new ideas and approaches at this time so speak up and speak out this card is a sign of the maverick who freely roams the wide open space of possibility allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as your dream as you dream a grander dream allow for a greater space that's not what I say y'all i'll be reading what i want to read that's why i can't read y'all okay listen allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream period okay so i'm about to let you guys go i hope you guys have a fantastic day be amazing be great bye loves